Hello everybody, Badforge Games here, and welcome to a very long-awaited video. We are going to do a quite an important video, actually. Now, a long time ago, I kind of did like a how to improve the frame rate of Containment Breach, and um, I kind of realised I messed it up a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can do that increases the frame rate drastically, even if you have like a quite a beefy computer, it sometimes lags, and this should resolve any frame rate issues. So that's what I did. So. Uh, you want to go to your containment breach folder, which is the, it should just be a normal file. And you're going to look for a thing called options, and what you're going to do is double clicking. It will not look like a normal text document, but it should just say options, and you should be able to open it. So, open it right up. Uh, by default, your frame rate thing should say 60. You want to change that to about 80, because any higher doesn't seem to make much difference. So that will help immediately. Uh, you can show your frame rate by pressing 0 for no and 1 for yes. So you want to do that. Or you can adjust the screen resolution and your brightness and stuff here. Set your drivers if there are two, etc, etc. Uh, if you have two drivers, it's probably best to put two. Because you're going to want to select the second one. Uh, you're going to want to find your native resolution, which mine is that. So, not very high. Just over 720p, which isn't amazing, but who cares? It does the game well. So yeah, you're going to want to set your frame limit to about 80 or more, depending, put it up to you know, 120 if you want, like 420 blazer or something, I don't care. One or the other, it all does the same thing. Uh, next thing is you've got VSync. Make sure that is set to zero. You do not want VSync on unless your computer is fast enough to cope with VSync. So always put it for zero. Uh, that's pretty much here. it here. Uh, you can also turn bump mapping off. That also helps a little bit. And... Uh, the anastropy and anti atlas that also helps. You can put that to zero. You can put both those to zero to improve frame rate as well. But I always like a little bit. Let's make the game look nicer. Right, and that's pretty much it for the this section. So you go ahead and save that. And then you want to launch the game, and it should run a lot better. I will do a quick, I'll quickly launch it. I'm using the nib mod, which allows more SCPs to spawn. You don't have to use that, so make sure you click. Your better graphics card because I could use the primary, but I'm going to use my GTX 750. Okay, so the game's loaded up. Launch it, wait for it to load a bit. And if you look in the top left there, I'll probably zoom in, and we're up to about 76 frames per second as I speak. 77. This is a fairly constant frame rate. This is for even with Shadow Play running in the background, which doesn't really have much effect, but it seems to run pretty smoothly. Nice and bright, thanks to the adjustment of brightness I've turned. You can also turn the gamma up, which makes it a little bit better. And the game runs pretty smoothly with other actions going or things on screen. So it stays roughly about above 60. So, so anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. And leave a like if I've improved the frame rate of your game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.